Hello and welcome to the Butler Collegiate Newscast. I'm Jade Eilers. And I'm Eva Hallman. We are very excited to be back in the studio this year to bring you bigger and better newscasts. First, Eva and I will talk about everything news happening on campus. Ethan will be in the sports corner and then Katarina will be introducing one of our new Collegiate editors. We've got lots to cover today, so let's get started. The Butler Formal Recruitment Registration is officially open now. Recruitment will take place in person in early January. There are seven sororities and seven fraternities. Greek life is prominent but not dominant at Butler, involving 37% of campus. To register for recruitment or stay up to date with informational Greek life events, check out at Butler Panhel and at Butler IFC on Instagram. Happy Fall Bulldogs! Thursday, September 22nd marked the first day of fall. Enjoy this cozy autumn season by taking a walk through the Holcomb Gardens, studying outside the many benches and tables, or grabbing your favorite drink at Butler Brew or Starbucks. Students can utilize the Boost app to mobile order and save time and take in more of this crisp fall weather. Hispanic Heritage Month is making a splash on Butler's campus. Butler's Latinx Student Union has been working hard to plan events for this special time. Hispanic Heritage Month is from September 15th to October 15th. The group kicked off the month with the coloring of Star Fountain. According to the president of LSU, Manuel Alarcón Nava, the color orange represents joy and creativity. LSU has already hosted many events, but there's still more to go. To see what's next for LSU and Hispanic Heritage Month, check out at BU underscore LatinXSU on Instagram. After the recent judge block making abortion legal in Indiana, student organizations took to campus to make their presence known. Bulldogs for Life, the Butler chapter of the anti-abortion nonprofit Students for Life of America, tabled last Thursday outside Jordan Hall near Starbucks. Bulldogs for Life said this is their first protest of the school year. Meanwhile, students of the Gender Equity Movement Club here on campus took to the sidewalks in response and support of abortion rights. They also gathered at Star Fountain that same day. Free food and toiletries can be found in Atherton Union 306. Butler's Food Pantry is open from Monday to Friday. The food pantry has easy meals, snacks, gluten-free and vegan options, household items, and more. All of this is free to Butler students with no sign-up required. According to food pantry workers, the food pantry is a severely underutilized on-campus resource. For more information, check out at VU Volunteer on Instagram. As the end of September draws near, that means Family Weekend is here. Family Weekend 2022 is from September 30th through October 2nd. Students, make sure you filled out the form sent to your email for all details, including t-shirt sales, special hotel rates, and registration for events. Activities range from historic Hinkle tours, a Butler Dance Marathon interactive banquet, unique previews of Butler Ballet's The Nutcracker, and more. We can't wait to see your families here on campus. That's all of the announcements we have for today. Now let's send it over to Ethan Pollock, who has a Butler Sports update for us. Thanks, Eva. Welcome back to the Sports Corner. There's a lot of news happening around Butler Athletics, so let's just jump right into it. Butler men's soccer is on a scoring tear after outscoring their opponents 13-1 to last week. The team began the scoring barrage against Lindenwood, where the, they won 9 to nothing. They then followed it up with another victory, knocking off UConn on Saturday, 4-1. The team was led by freshman Palmer Alt, who finished the week with four goals and two assists. Alt's huge performance this week earned himself Big East Offensive Player of the Week and Freshman of the Week honors. On the other side of the pitch, Butler women's soccer is looking to put an end to their losing streak. They began their week on Thursday, where they lost a tough battle against Xavier, 1-0. Alexi Whitaker led the team with five shots. Three days later, the Bulldogs hosted the number 19 ranked Marquette. Freshman Talia Sommer scored in the fifth minute, but the Golden Eagles would then score four goals unanswered. Now heading indoors, the Butler volleyball team began their Big East Conference play on the road last week. 
The Bulldogs started off strong by knocking off DePaul in Chicago on Friday, three sets to one. Amina Shackelford led the way with 22 kills and five blocks. In their next matchup, the team would fall just short to number 19 ranked Marquette, losing in four sets. Sophomore Mariah Gruns finished with a team high 11 kills and two blocks. Looking ahead this week, the Butler Athletics has another busy schedule filled with a lot of traveling. The action will begin on Thursday in Rhode Island, where the women's soccer team will take on Providence at 7 p.m. The Friday slate is packed, started, starting with the men's soccer at Marquette, and the Butler men's and women's cross-country team will also be at the Joe Pian Invitational in South Bend on Friday. The women's volleyball team will begin their week on Friday as well against number 21 ranked Creighton, followed by another matchup against Xavier on the Sunday. Finally, men's women's golf teams will both have an invitational on Monday. The men will travel out to Westlake, Ohio for the Tom Timonia uh, Invitational where the women will start in Indy for the Butler Fall Invitational. That's all I have for this week in the Sports Corner. Let's send it back to our anchors at the desk. Thanks for the Sports Corner update, Ethan. Now let's send it over to Katarina, who sat down with the managing editor, Kobe Mosley. Thanks, Jade. I'm Katarina Anderson, sitting down today with Kobe Mosley, managing editor of the Butler Collegian, for our first episode of Meet the Editor. Thanks for being here tonight, Kobe. No problem, of course. Uh, so can you tell us a little bit about your journey with the Butler Collegian so far? Uh, yeah, um, so being a part of a Collegian has been one of the highlights of my uh, college career. Um, I have a pretty like unique like story of like be becoming uh, a reporter for the Collegian. So uh, my first year, I actually went to a meeting as a freshman, and I kind of got like scared, and so I quit after my first um, meeting ever with the Collegian. But I came back after my sophomore year, um, and ever since then, I've really enjoyed it, and just meeting all the people that are on staff, and uh, just getting better every week has really been a great experience. So um, why did you decide to apply to be managing editor? Um, so I actually kind of got like, coerced into doing it <laughs> by uh, the previous managing editor, Henry, and also um. Um, one of the other editors, uh, Katie um, and Caitlin. Um, so he kind of told me that like, being managing editor wasn't as bad as it seemed to be. Uh, it really gave me a little bit more freedom to uh, have more time throughout the week and also would be a great opportunity for me to um, lead the men's basketball uh, beat and also just be like a mentor to the editors and ever since I started I've enjoyed it so I'm glad I made the decision. Yeah so um, and lastly what has been your favorite part about being man managing editor so far? Um, it's definitely like meeting all the new reporters uh, like seeing um, young reporters like be enthusiastic about joining the staff and seeing them grow uh, it's only been like six weeks now, um, but I feel like I've, I've made some like, good friends uh, with new reporters and new editors, um, and I'm just I'm excited to see where the collision goes after I'm gone. Mm -hmm. Well, thank, uh, Kobe, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, back to you guys. Thanks, Katarina. That's all for this week's Butler Collegian Newscast. To stay up to date with all things news on Butler's campus, visit us online at thebutlercollegian.com or on Twitter at Butler Collegian. We hope you enjoyed our first newscast in the studio for the school year. We'll be back here once a month to bring you more content like this. For the Butler Collegian, I'm Eva Hallman. And I'm Jade Eilers. Have a great week, dogs.